uh, entered Gustavus in 1970 with Bob Peterson. Um, he and I got to know each other uh, the very first day of class and have known each other since. In 1970, uh, Paul Granlin was just recently made an artist in residence at Gustavus. Frank Barth was the president. Uh, John Denver uh, would come to the campus and give annual uh, concerts. And, but against that backdrop, uh, we had the war going on, the civil rights movement, and the environmental movement. And the question that was being asked of people at that time is, what are you doing about it? And that question of what are you doing about it has been something that I think has somewhat haunted the people who graduated from Gustavus during the time period Bob graduated. It's not just the bottom line, not just that he succeeded financially. He succeeded in numerous ways way beyond uh, what one would expect. What, what he has done is what President Bergman has described as being a purposeful life. What he has done is he has met the commitments that Gustavus has in its core values. Community, service, excellence, faith. I couldn't be more pleased that Bob and Cindy Peterson are this year's recipients of the Greater Gustavus Award. The Greater Gustavus Award recognizes individuals who by deed have notably advanced and aided Gustavus Adolphus College. Bob and Cindy Peterson join a handful of families who are transforming Gustavus Adolphus College in ways that will be remembered in history. We are profoundly grateful to Bob and Cindy for their generosity to Gustavus Adolphus College. Having visited them in Tulsa, it may be no surprise to hear that their dedication to community service in their hometown has translated to similar generosity to Gustavus Adolphus College. Rolf Waldo Emerson wrote a poem about success, and I can't quote it in its entirety, but at one point uh, he says, to make one life breathe easier because you have lived. Bob Peterson has made 1,700 families in the Tulsa area breathe easier because of his efforts. He's made the greater Tulsa community better because of his efforts. And now he's going to make the Gustavus community better because of his efforts. So congratulations, Gustavus, on honoring someone who proudly wears its colors every single day. The one problem with pay, playing golf with Bob is that he always wants to talk about Gustavus. And it quite frankly gets a little bit boring after a while. Uh, he loves this school. He believes he owes this school a great debt. Um, it doesn't surprise me that at the end of the day he's come home to Gustavus uh, because he talks about it all the time. When he first graduated, he worked at Gustavus for a very short period of time, uh, but he became very enamored with the fact that the alumni were very generous uh, and he would see those donations come in. And I think, I think that may have affected the way he thought about how he should conduct his life, um, but at the end of the day, how he should give back to the school. Visiting Bob and Cindy at the Melton headquarters tells you something about them that's very special. When you walk around with them in their building, they know everyone. They talk to everyone. They ask about their families. They're engaged with their employees. And it's something that you don't see very often. There's a warmth in their employees and how they interact with them that, to me, is a sign of great leadership. Bob has the ability 
to be savvy in business and relational with people. He cares and it comes through. On behalf of the Alumni Association and the Gustavus Board of Trustees, congratulations to Bob and Cindy Peterson as this year's Greater Gustavus Award recipients.